you're listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast, hosted by Zach Bechtold and Matt Franks. We hope you enjoy today's podcast, and check us out online at beardedtheologians.com. You're listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast, hosted by Matt Franks and Zach Bechtold. Uh, Zach, we're in the season of Advent, and that's the traditional season of the church that um, where the church prepares itself uh, mentally and physically and spiritually for uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we think about that, uh, we're you know kind of the by the time the show airs, it'll be the second Sunday of Advent, and so it's kind of hard to like jump back, you know, and kind of bring you all up to speed. But one of the themes for Advent is um, waiting, and so as you think of waiting. Uh, what what kind of comes to mind? What speaks to you, or you know, especially in the season of Advent, how does that play out for you? Well, you know, one just in the context of what our um, lives are, and kind of just the social uh, norms and culture that we live in, waiting is not something we do well. Um, especially this time of year, we want Christmas to get here. Uh, we, we want, uh, you know, we want to celebrate and a lot of people, myself included in the past have begun celebrating that, that wait, not really waiting, but celebrating Christmas, um, uh, in November, right after Thanksgiving. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with, I'm, I'm with that. I like Christmas. I enjoy it. I like to draw it out as far as we can, but there is something about, intentionally waiting till after Thanksgiving to begin to prepare um, and not rush into it because it because there's it just helps build that you know we we do it at Lent uh, there's the season of preparing and and being very intentional about it and it seems like we we don't rush as much to get to Easter as we do for Christmas um, and it may just be what uh, the cultural things that surround Christmas with, uh, you know, family and, and presents and, you know, Black Friday and all of those things that, that go in it, but we don't wait well. Um, you know, we want our food fast. We want our podcasts instant. We want our Facebook and news and social media things at the tips of our fingers. And anytime we have to wait for that, we, we have our time. We struggle with it. We get frustrated. Um, in in Christmas, Christmas is that time for us to intentionally slow down, to uh, wait on the coming of Christ, and there's a lot that goes into that waiting in, in various ways of worship and preparing our hearts, and uh, both communally and individually. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I was thinking as you were talking, uh, what kind of came to mind is that a good hitter in baseball uh, sits and waits on the pitch that's perfect for them. <laughs> and, and, um, and I know some of my um, favorite baseball hitters this year had struggles with that. And, did. And, did. And, um, but, you know, you, you look at the good hitters and, and they'll tell you to wait for your pitch. And, and mm-hmm. when you see that pitch, you know, drive it, drive the ball. And, and I think with Advent and Christmas, you know, there is something special about it when we enter into this idea of preparing ourselves for the coming of Jesus and, mm-hmm. and, and having to wrestle with what does that mean for us? You know, what, what does it mean that Jesus is born on this day? And, and, and what does that, you know, how does it impact my faith? And when we prepare ourselves and, and, you know, get ourselves ready and, and wait, um, there's a, there's a spiritual sense there that, that can be very powerful. Um, mm-hmm. And I, and I think far too often, and, and you're right, you know, on the head, you know, we're, we're pushing Christmas, you know, Hobby Lobby is notorious for pushing Christmas in July In July. yeah. And, and I struggle with that. Like I see that stuff and it just, it not only does it anger me because then I have to unpack that for my church um, mm-hmm. and, and say, no, you know, it's Advent first, then Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that that's for me, one of the things I've been adamant about this year is because Christmas Eve falls on a Sunday um, I said on Sunday, Advent for first, because mm-hmm. we have to have that lesson. Um, and right. we're going to be talking about the lessons of Advent. Um, and that last lesson is the lesson of the servant. And if I'm not allowed to give you that lesson, then by the time that Christmas comes that evening, when we, when we have Christmas Eve services that evening, you're going to miss out on, to me, one of the more important lessons that we need to learn of what does it mean to be a servant? And if we don't right. prepare ourselves well, we're only going to have a small piece of the pie. And so 
Um, I want to encourage you, if you haven't planned your uh, Christmas Eve service, you probably are already hurting, but would encourage you to really think about that in your planning and, and be adamant about it and, and, mm -hmm. and share with your congregations. No, we've got to do this first and then mm -hmm. this. And, and I know there'll be pushback. I mean, I had some pushback too, but I looked at people and said, I really feel like if we're going to do Christmas right as the church, we have to have that fourth Sunday so that I can mm -hmm. do Christmas Eve very well and we can tell the rest mm -hmm. of the story. Well, and so, you know, you brought up the instant gratification that we live in. I want, I would love for like all of us to be challenged to, to wait. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the thing when we, when we don't wait, we don't give time for the rest of that story. We, we miss the details. We miss maybe even the slow parts that are, you know, not it, Christmas is not an action, you know, Advent, this, this season is not an action movie. It's not just bang, bang, bang. You know, there, there are little details everywhere within the gospels and within these stories that, that build, that, that bring us in through this waiting and anticipation and, and carry us through. And if we miss a piece of that, there's a, there's a, almost a plot hole, you know, there's, there's something missing and we don't get to fully celebrate. Uh, and in, I, I know without a doubt that if we rush through this and we get to Christmas and, or we get to Christmas Eve and we get to Christmas, we're going to be lacking. There's going to be something within us. That's like, Oh, it wasn't the same this year. And it's because we're missing that piece. And, and so in this season of waiting, how do we, how do we do that? How do we prepare our hearts and our minds uh, to break through the busyness, to break through the wanting to get there and rush there so we can enjoy it and not miss something important in between? And, and I think that that's the deal is, is to, um... <laughs> it's not me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's Ashley texting me. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> we have to wait and, and the struggle that, um, we have, and we've, we've shared this, but I really think that if we just sit back and just, real, you know, sit back and relax and not worry about, um, the stuff <laughs> and, that, um, just be present. Can you imagine what that would do? like for your advent practice, you know, whatever that may be. Um, what, what if we, what if we were to treat advent um, or approach advent a whole lot like we do Lent and, and be very intentional about at least this waiting, because it seems like that's what we have trouble doing is waiting. And so what if we, you know, maybe not so much in taking on a spiritual discipline or adding something new or giving something up, but just being intentional about waiting and not rushing through the season and not missing out on the preparation and, and rejoicing and serving that we have in this season. Um, and, and we treat it like that and say, look, this Advent season, we're going to wait. Um, we're going to be intentional about waiting and slowing down and taking in the season uh, amongst the Christmas parties and the school programs and the 9 million things that we have to do that are going to take our attention away. Um, but to be intentional about waiting in those things as well. What might that look like? It looked like Advent. It would. So maybe would. that's our challenge is to slow down and wait this week. And so, during Advent. and I think that works well coming out the Sunday after, you know, the week after the first Advent, <laughs> let this be a reminder that as you've picked up speed and, and possibly missed out on something this season, slow it down. There's still time to, to be in this focus of waiting, uh, to be very intentional about that. Uh, and I like that. That's going to be our challenge. Uh, you're, you're four days in, <laughs> you're almost <laughs> a full weekend to Advent. Weekend. Yeah. Slow down, wait and, and see what, waiting and anticipating the coming birth of, of Christ really looks like in your life. That's good. I like, I like that. that. I do too. So we want to encourage you as you wait. And if you're needing some ideas for gift items, and if you have a <laughs> special pastor in your life um, or a friend that you know that, that 
is a Sunday school teacher and, and is bearded, or you just want to be give, give a gag gift of a bearded person, you know, that may not have a beard, but you give them a bearded theologian coffee mug or, you know, whatever, uh, you know, just go on our, go online to our website and click on the buy stuff thing. And you'll go to our Zazzle thing and, and buy some really cool bearded theologians gear. Um, you know, we use that money to be able to then turn around and, you know, give out other items to guests and other things that we have on. Uh, but we want to continue the conversation. And so how are you waiting? And, you know, uh, you know, talk about what does that mean for you uh, on our, on our social media uh, aspects and all that good stuff. Um, but we're very thankful for you. And so keep on listening, share us, like us, um, you know, utilize us in any way that you'd like to. Um, but for the bearded theologians, I'm Matt Franks. I'm Zach Bechtold. Have fun waiting this season. Thank you for listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast. We hope you've enjoyed listening and we hope that you share our content online uh, through Facebook and social media. And we hope that you check out our uh, Beardcast store at beardedtheologians.com and pick up some great Bearded Theologians gear. We hope you have a good day.